I'm Shubhanka Dev from TechCrunch Gadgets and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you about 7 hidden Android features that you're not using and you should definitely try. These secret Android features will make your Android experience even better. So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. First up on the list is screen pinning. It is one of the lesser known features of Android. It happens that your friend asks for your phone to make a quick phone call, but after making the phone call, they have a tendency to browse your private messages, emails, and check out your private photos. That's very annoying, right? That's why screen pinning comes into play. Screen pinning prevents anyone from switching apps and forces them to stay on the particular screen that you pinned. To enable screen pinning, just go to your settings, browse to security and lock screen and head down to screen pinning. Then just toggle it to on and it will ask for your permission to ask for pin before unpinning. When you go back to the home, just select the app that you want to pin, for example the Chrome and there you will see a pin icon. Just click on the pin icon and you will see screen is pinned. Now no button will work. Just to unpin the current spin as it says on the screen below, just click and hold the back and overview button together and it will be unpinned. It's quite handy. Multiple user accounts. If someone asks you to let them check out your phone, you might be worried about your personal data. But did you know you can enable a guest mode to let them check out your phone and play games, install apps and do whatever they want without even worrying about your personal data. To enable guest mode, just swipe down to enable quick settings and click on the profile icon and there you can see add guest and add user. If you want uh, the other person to be another user, you can click on the add user or you can just click on the add guest and it will switch to guest mode as you can see. Now to get back to your original profile, just again go to the profile icon and click on your original user account and you're good to go. It's a cool nifty feature and helps you protect your privacy. Adaptable storage. If you have an Android phone that has only around 8 GB or 16 GB of memory, you must be having a hard time installing a lot of apps and games. Even if you have an SD card, most apps and games can't be installed on SD cards. But since Android Lollipop 5.0, you can format your SD card as internal storage. To do that, just go to your storage, then go to your SD card, then click on this hamburger icon and then click on storage settings. Just click on format as internal. But make sure to back up your SD card data because all of your SD card data will be formatted. Just click on erase and format. If it asks to move data, the old data of course, to new storage, you can click on move now or move later. As I have not backed up my previous data, I'll click on move now and click on next. Move and the process will continue. It's done. And as you can see, total memory has increased as well and now you can use the SD card as an internal device. It's totally great. Split screen multitasking. If you like to multitask like me, then you're gonna love this feature. This cool Android feature lets you run two apps at a time. To enable split screen multitasking, just click and hold on the gear icon and this will turn on the system UI tuner. Then go to system UI tuner and then go to other and then click on enable split screen swipe up gesture. Also on the latest Android phones, you don't have to enable this option to get the multitasking feature. Now just go to an app and then just drag it on it to enable a multitasking window. But many apps like Instagram don't support split screen multitasking. To force Instagram to open a multitasking window, go to settings and then head to about phone and then tap on the build number for 7 to 8 times to enable develop options. I've already enabled develop options. Now go to developer options and then head down to the bottom of the screen and there you can see force activities to be resizable. Just click on it. And next time when you try to open Instagram as a multi window, it will work totally fine. Next up is smart lock. Smart lock will keep your device unlocked when it detects that it's with you or at a safe place like your home. To enable smart lock, just go to settings, then go to security and lock screen and head down to smart lock. It will ask for your pin. If you have not set any password protection on your device, you have to enable a password protection, then smart lock will be accessible. And as you can see, there are five options. You can set up trusted face, click on onboarding detection to keep your device unlocked when it's with you and more options. After selecting the required option, you can just click on the toggle and continue and it will be enable. It's a quite handy feature. 
hidden file manager. Did you know Android has a an e hidden file manager since Android Marshmallow? The first thing that you do after buying a new phone and turning it on is download a proper file manager. To explore the file manager, just go to storage in settings and then head to files. On other phones, it might be labeled as explore. Depending on your Android version and phone, just click on file or explore and you'll be taken to the hidden file manager. This file manager is capable of doing basic tasks like new window, new folder, browsing your APK, files, documents, music or any other basic stuff. It's quite neat. Screen saver. Did you know Android has a hidden screen saver that most people don't know about? It's an awesome feature to check out time and notification when your phone is sleeping or top. To enable screen saver on Android, go to settings, head over to display and there you can see screen saver. Just click on screen saver and there you can see many options, clock, colors, news and weather. You can also enable photos as screen saver. Clock looks the best. And next time when you click on start now or your phone is idle or talk, screen saver will start automatically. If you have an AMOLED screen, screen savers will also save your battery. And these were the seven hidden Android features that you should try. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below. Do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching.